Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. This is my tutorial for Bon Jovi's 1986 hit, Living on a Prayer. What a great rock and roll number to look at on your ukulele. We're going to look at the chords, we're going to look at the strumming, we're going to look at a walkthrough and the layout and finish with the demo. Here we go. So the chords are the easy parts of the song, that's why I've put it in at level three. There's only four chords to look at. Strumming is a little bit more challenging and we'll look at that in a second. But for the chords, we've got a C, we've got a D, got an E minor, and we've got the G. Nice and easy, so the C. Third finger, third fret on the A string there, nice and easy. D is your second finger on the second fret. So semi-bar across the G, C and E strings, don't touch the A string at the bottom, otherwise that becomes a D7. D. We've got the E minor. Three fingers in a diagonal line. I always just remember that as a diagonal line. Starts on your second finger on the second, sorry, your first finger on the second fret there on the A string. And then we sort of work up diagonally from there. Second finger goes on to the third fret on the E string. And the third finger goes on to the fourth fret on the C string. Look carefully at the diagram and that should be a nice easy one to follow. So E minor. And then we've also got the G. Nice and easy. First and second finger on the second fret there on the C and the A strings and third finger on the side of that on the third fret on the E string. So have a look at those four chords. They're nice and easy. Make sure you're comfortable with them. Then we can look at the strumming. Okay, so the strumming is in three parts and it's, um, on the one hand, it's really easy. On the other hand, we make it slightly more complicated to make the song a little bit more vibrant and full of energy. So you could just get away with doing the yellow or the red pattern all the way through. Um, would be something like this. Tommy used to work on the docks. Union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough. So tough. Okay, that's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way through. It's all right. It's not brilliant. Um, we could also do the red pattern. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Tommy used to work on the docks. Union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough. So tough. But actually, when you combine the two, you get a really nice uh, sort of double pattern. The the down, up, down, up, the yellow pattern gives it a driving tempo to it. And then the down, up, down, up, up, down, up just slightly pulls back on the reins, just slows it down slightly. And you get a really nice combination sounding like this. Tommy used to work on the docks. Union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough. So tough. So if we have a look at the sheet music, you'll see each line of the verse starts with the yellow. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Tommy used to work on the... And that just keeps it flowing at a nice steady tempo, uh, but keeps the tempo going there, keeps it going quite nicely. And then we just pull back with the red pattern on at the end of each line. So Tommy used to work on the... Now down, up, down, up, up, down, up, dogs. Just pulls it back slightly and plays around a little bit with the tempo there. And, and the gives a bit of variation to the rhythm. So that works, that combination works really nicely. So that's the tricky part of this song, just realizing you've got more than one uh, strumming pattern there to play with and trying to put them in the right parts of the song. I have tried to color code it really clearly so you can try and follow that. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you muddle it up. It doesn't matter if you put one um, pattern in a different place. Uh, and you can see what works best for you. But I found this um, arrangement worked really nicely where we start with the yellow pattern and then we go into the red pattern. So we ha start with the down up, down up, down up, down up, and then down up, down up, up, down up. So let's just practice that yellow into red. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, up, down again. And hopefully you'll find that's not too difficult um, and uh, that really helps the, the verses move along uh, with a nice bit of rhythmic variation as well. And then when we get to the chorus, we've just got the green pattern as well, which is actually nothing different. It's just I've marked it in green because basically we change chord halfway through the pattern. So if you have a look at the green pattern, it's actually the same as the red pattern, but with a break in the middle. And that's where we change chord. So she says we gotta hold on to what we've got. 
So the green goes from a C to the D, and later G to the C, and E minor to the C. Uh, so there's a few different versions of this, but we'll just focus on the C to the D for now. We've got down, up, down, up, up, down, up. She says we gotta hold on. She says we gotta hold on to what we've got. So it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up. We've just got to do that with the chord change. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And you'll see the green chords are always in pairs. And basically you're going to do down, up, down on the first one of the pair. And then up, up, down, up on the second. Let's just try it on the G to the C. Oh, oh living on a prayer. Then take my hand, E minor to C. Take my hand and we'll make it our swear. So you can see how that works. You've just got to be fast on your chord changes there. I've just marked it in green so you're aware that you're changing chord mid uh, strumming pattern. The rest of the time uh, you do a full strumming pattern on each chord so it's easier to follow. And so I just marked that in green to separate that and make it a bit clearer. So that's the strummy. Three different versions of a very similar pattern really. Um, and just have a look at that. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you mix it up a bit yourself and change it in any way you want to. Uh, but that's the way I recommend having a go at it. Uh, so look at that for yourself and, uh, and see, what, uh, see how you get on with it. Okay, let's do a walkthrough next and see how it all fits together. So we start with an intro on the red pattern, uh, C, D, E minor, E minor, like this. And then there's a voice over the second line. Same chords again, C, once upon a time, D, not so long ago on the E minor. And that's very much how the song starts with a sort of deep uh, voice over there. Once upon a time, not so long ago. Then we start singing with the yellow pattern. Tommy used to work on the back to the red pattern. Dogs. Second line on the yellow E minor again. Union's been on strike. He's red pattern. Down on his luck. It's to the C, D and E minor staying on that red pattern. Tough to the D. So tough. Back to the E minor. We did that twice. Back to the yellow pattern on the E minor. Gina works the diner all red pattern. Dame. Yellow pattern again. Working for her man. She red pattern. Brings home her pay for love. C, D, E minor. D and E minor. She says we got her. And then we go into the chorus. And then we go to the green. Hold on to what we got. Back to the yellow on the D and the E minor. So it's uh, C to D on the green, hold on to then on the yellow D and E minor. What we've got, back to the C, it doesn't make a D difference if we make it or E minor nod. Back to the green on the C and the D, we've got each other and D, that's a E minor lot for C on the red pattern. D, D on the red, we'll give it a shot. And then we're into the main part of the chorus on the E minor. Oh, we're C and the D on the yellow. Halfway there, G to C on the green. Oh, oh D yellow, living on a prayer. E minor to C on the green. Take my hand, will D make it? I swear, G to C on the green. Oh, oh D yellow, living on a prayer. It finishes with two E minors on the red pattern. And then Tommy's got his six string in hog. We're into the second verse, and that runs exactly the same. Then we've got the chorus again. And then basically at the end, I've just said repeat, uh, fade out with the second half of the chorus. So that's the Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Oh, oh living on a prayer. Just slow down and fade that so you just repeat those four lines at the end okay that's the song let's just do a very quick layout I pretty much just explained it so it starts with the intro you've got the first verse then you've got the chorus second verse chorus and then you just repeat that ending so it's just that final four lines repeated at the end of course if you want to do the chorus again the whole chorus again at the end because you, you love it so much then you can do you can extend the song slightly as well okay um, we'll finish with the demo so you can see how that fits together uh, more fully if you've enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel to grow. And uh, thank you for watching. Okay, take care. See you next time. Tommy's got his six string in hog. Now he's holding in what he used to make it.
talk so tough Oh, it's tough Gina dreams of running away When she cries in the night Tommy whispers, baby, it's okay Someday We've got to hold on to what we've got It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not We've got each other and that's a lot for love We'll give it a shot Oh, we're halfway there Oh, living on a prayer Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear Oh, living on a prayer Oh, we're halfway there Oh, living on a prayer Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear Oh, living on a prayer